Rex. 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 Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and once again welcome to my channel, because why not? I mean, it's not like you have anything else to do, so yeah. So for today's video we have the usual AMD driver review, this time the AMD Adrenaline 21.6.1. As I say in all my videos, 21 is the year, 2021, 6 is the month, June, and 1 is the revision in that month, so the first revision of June. As always, I bring you my experience with these drivers and also some performance tests, in this case with the RX 6800 and the RX 5700 XT, right after the sponsor of today's video. For today's sponsor, we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16. And using my SKEG discount code, you will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account, and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. So, yes, my mom's tablet. Um, as for the support, with the 21.6.1, we have the AMD Radeon RX 6800M graphics, so basically the, mo the mobile graphics for the laptops. Uh, the 6800M is actually a 6700 XT but for laptops called 6800M. Uh, Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance, AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, FSR, support for selected titles. FSR requires game developer integration, learn more about FSR here. And for those of you who don't know what FSR is, basically uh, you can watch this video uh, Explaining explaining what FSR is or this video with a list of games that will be supported that are now supported Which are seven games and will be supported in a near future, okay? Uh, and the studios that are working with AMDs in FSR and so on and so on, but basically uh, FSR is a reconstruct an image reconstruction uh, Algorithm for example like the LSS, but working in a different way uh, it, it is also free so basically uh, let's say that it is better for you to play at 1080p or let's say at 4K with um, FSR ultra quality than at 1440p and the FPS difference won't be that that much and the 4K um, FSR will look better than the 1440p, okay? Now as for the fixed issues we have some, for example with Radeon FreeSync that uh, actually became locked while on desktop after performing test switching between extended and primary displays and so on so on so on, that is fixed. And no 1800, which is one of the games included with AMD's FSR, may crash upon launching this game when running, when running DirectX 12, so that is fixed also. AMD Cleanup Utility may clean up chipset slash RAID installer related folders slash registries from the system. Some RAID and graphic products may experience lower than expected performance in Destiny 2 when compared to previous RAID software versions. So for some of you that were actually having problems with Destiny 2, mostly uh, in the new DLCs and so on, maybe, maybe this driver actually fix, fixes the problem because I, 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 have, I actually have Destiny 2 but I don't have the DLCs and I am still in the beginning and so far so good but uh, as, f um, as from what I heard from some of you, the problem is with the DLCs and in the later games. So tell me in the comment sections if it is fixed or not. As for the known issues, we still have some, and by some I mean lots of them, uh, which are Resident Evil Village may experience an intermittent application hang or TDR on the Radeon 7 graphics in the first mission of game. Once again, enhanced sync may cause a black screen to occur when enabled on some games and system configurations. Any users who may be experiencing issues with enhanced sync should disable it as a temporary workaround. So this is one of the the oldest issues with the MD driver since the Adrenaline 2020 um, and yeah it is still here sadly when will AMD fix this for good I don't really know I personally don't have any problems with enhanced sync but some people do and it is sad that it is still occurring okay and we still have lots of more known issues uh, but having the known issues is actually a good thing because AMD knows these issues are happening 
and they will fix it. That's why the known issues list is actually not that bad, apart from these issues like the enhanced sync that have like one year or more uh, and still not fixed. Basically, that's it. Also, we have this on the footnotes. AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution is available on the selected games and requires developer integration. See here for a list of supported games. AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution is game dependent and is supported on the following AMD products. Radeon RX 6000, 5000, 500, RX Vega series graphic cards, RX 480, RX uh, uh, 480, 470, 460 and all AMD Ryzen processors with Radeon graphics if the minimum requirements of the game are met. And yeah, that's all for the release notes, mostly. Uh, now, as for my experience with these drivers, the RX 6800 running fine, the 5700 XT running fine also, no problems whatsoever, no black screens, no blue screens. I had one crash, but that was due to my faulty overclocking skills because I tried to overclock further with the 5700 XT and it crashed, but that's it. Uh, apart from that, completely fine. I did notice though that with the 21.6.1, the FPS were more stable were smoother with, for example, uh, playing, for example, Days Gone, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and so on, so on, so on. In actual gameplay, the FPS were smoother, or it seemed so. At least to me, it seems so, but it may be like placebo effect, who knows. But at least that's what it seems to me, okay? This driver also had some visual upgrades, uh, not very important things, but interesting things. For example, the installer is quite different now, uh, so it has a, a redesigned uh, installer per se. We have also different fonts in the Radeon software, so you can see here that the fonts are quite different, uh, or at least they, don't, they aren't as bold as they were before. The load and save menu is also different in the performance tab while overclocking and undervolting if you want to load or save your profiles. That menu is also different, redesigned and quite better in my opinion. And the thing that I really like the most is the AMD Smart Tool. So finally, we have an indication of the AMD Smart Access Memory inside the Radeon software. So we can actually turn it on or turn it, turn it off at will without having the need of going into BIOS. And that is a really, really nice thing because, for example, for me that I test a lot with Smart Access Memory on and off, uh, not, not having to actually reboot the PC, go into BIOS and disable the AMD Smart Access memory is quite nice. And well guys, that's all for today's video and it is actually a pretty long one. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. And well, without much more to say, let's go to the performance, to the performance comparison. <laughs> let's go to the performance comparison part, which is the one that you're really here to see. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good. Busy already? Eh, yeah, pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected.